Afghanistan. The rest of the country was held by the Taliban, who were sheltering Osama bin Laden. Outgunned by the Taliban and appealing for help, Massoud also repeatedly warned bin Laden was poised to attack the U.S. My message to President Bush is the following. If he's not interested in peace being restored in Afghanistan, if he does not come to the aid of the Afghan people in order to achieve their objectives of peace, the problems that we are facing will be those that the Americans and the rest of the world will be obliged to face. This recently declassified U.S. intelligence cable obtained by CNN shows Massoud had, quote, some limited knowledge that Al-Qaeda planned to target the United States. Ambassador Massoud Khalili was one of Massoud's trusted advisors. He says the Afghan leader was bitterly disappointed the U.S. wasn't more open to his warnings. Osama bin Laden, though, was growing increasingly alarmed. Khalili says bin Laden recognized that once he attacked so the U.S., Massoud would team up with American forces to hunt him down. Osama bin Laden knew very well that this man will be against me if I create a hell in New York. Just two days before the attacks in New York and Washington, Al-Qaeda operatives disguised as reporters killed Massoud with a bomb. Ambassador Khalili was seated next to the Afghan leader and was badly wounded. For Afghans, Ambassador Khalili says the international war on terror began on September the 9th. It was a day in which a man was assassinated who was not just telling, but in action showing to the world that I am the first victim of the global war, real global war against terrorism. Khalili says it's time the U.S. focused again on Afghanistan, where he says the Taliban and Al-Qaeda are regrouping. From the same hole, we should not be bitten by the same snake twice. Like his friend Massoud, Khalili is also issuing a warning. All he can hope for, he says, is Washington doesn't make the same mistake twice. Satinda Bindra, CNN, New Delhi. India is proposing setting up communication links on maritime issues.